Start with pushing your seat back to access the bolts. Loosen the front two bolts with the 10 millimeter socket. Make sure to store them so you won't lose them. Then move the seat forwards to access the back two bolts. Once you get them out and safely secured, you're ready for the 7mm socket to unplug sensors underneath. Once it's fully unplugged, you're ready to remove the seat. Right. Place the Scopima swivel seat on and line up the bottom bolts. You'll have to turn seat mount just slightly so you can see the holes line up. that issue as so many do have where just can't quite our seat mount didn't perfectly line up and we tried what we could but we're scared to actually strip the bolt Time to get creative. Oh, that's heavy. The mallet did not work. Let me try to put it just into this one now first. See, now I'm still way off over here. We didn't want to drill a hole into the brand new seat mount. So I came up with this idea to use the vehicle's jack to stretch out the box, being extremely careful not to pop the welds. The jack's bottom was just slightly too big, so I had to use wooden spacers that could fit. Going extremely slow, I listened and watched for the bolt to line up. Careful. I think that's the wood. Once the thread and hole were aligned, I placed in the final bolt and loosely put it in. Once I was sure it was in, I cinched them all down as best I could. Remember to alternate bolts to make the mount the most secure. Once they were all tightened, I loosened the jack. And it worked. Ah! <laughs> now you put the seat 
back on top of the newly placed seat mount and turn it just lightly so you can get the seat's bolts in. Using their lock washers, making sure that the grooves are down, I ratcheted them in with a 13 millimeter socket and a box end wrench. You now have to remove the car seat safety belt attachment. We paint it after vacuuming up the shards. Don't forget to reconnect the seat's electrical system and give that thing a spin because you're done.